Hi, you are engaging in the guidebooks unit, The Whipping Boy. The purpose of this video is to help you better understand how societies were organized using the feudal system in the Middle Ages. This will help you better understand the characters' relationships and events as you engage in the text, The Whipping Boy. Be sure to have your handout and something to write with for the video. What if you were punished every time someone else made a bad choice? That's what happened in the Middle Ages when someone did something wrong, a different person was punished. They were called whipping boys. Let's take a closer look at the different roles of people in the medieval societies. The ELA guidebooks text The Whipping Boy takes place during the Middle Ages long, long ago, a time when people's lives were defined by their place in the feudal system, called their social classes. The feudal system was organized by a person's wealth and position in society. Each person was born in a specific role in the feudal system that depended on how much land their family owned, how much money they had, and the level of power that they had. Let's take a look at some of those roles now. The monarchs or kings and queens were the most important and powerful of all the people. They ruled large amounts of land and people. The king's family was powerful and protected. Power was usually passed down to the next generation in royal families. Since kings had so much land to rule, they divided up large pieces of land to be managed by other powerful people called nobles. The more land you owned, the more powerful you were. In exchange for the land the king gave them, the nobles were expected to be loyal to the king and protect him. Nobles were the lords, barons, and other wealthy landowners in the kingdom. The nobles were the second highest social class and answered only to the king. They had a lot of power and responsibility in the society. They protected the king's land, organized the army, and paid taxes to help support the kingdom. Knights were next in line of power after the nobles. They served the nobles as the king's army and were the protectors of society who could be called into battle at any moment. Nobles gave knights smaller pieces of their land in exchange for their service in battle to protect them and the king. Most members of society were commoners. There were two groups of commoners, peasants and serfs. Peasants owned little, if anything, and often spent long hours working and paid high rents to the nobles for their lands and homes. They had many different roles in the feudal society, like blacksmiths and bakers. Many were farmers who provided food for the entire kingdom. Serfs led similar lives to the peasants, but were more like slaves because they were not paid for their work. They were the lowest social class in the feudal system. Serfs and their families were tied to the land, which meant they could not leave without permission, and they stayed there even if the land was sold or given to another noble or knight. Serfs were mostly uneducated and unskilled. Commoners were the lowest of the social classes. Their nobles kept them safe from enemies, provided them homes, and allowed them to keep small amounts of food for their services, but they did not usually own land or businesses. Now you are ready to think about how the feudal system worked in the Middle Ages. Complete the organizer by filling in each social class from the choices in the word box. Then, list one to two important ideas about this group on your handout. Pause this video to complete the chart on your handout at stop sign number one. Then, hit play when you are ready to continue. Let's review. You should have placed the king at the top of the pyramid. The king had the most power and wealth in the feudal system. Kings provided land to the nobles in exchange for their protection and loyalty. Next, you should have the nobles. They were wealthy landowners and were very powerful. They ruled large areas of land and provided an army to the king. They also provided small pieces of land to the knights in exchange for their service in battle. The knights were next in the feudal system. They fought for their nobles in return for the lands they were provided. The peasants were next. They worked long hours and had little of anything. Serfs were the lowest of the social class and never paid. 
They were like slaves and were tied to the land and the noble who owned it. Each member of society in the Middle Ages provided something to the other classes, but also received something they needed in return. This might be land, power, food, protection, or even money. Each group of people needed each other. Most people were born into a social class without an opportunity to move up. Nobles continued to be nobles until their death, and then their children usually took their place. Peasants were peasants their entire lives, and their children continued in the same social class. Knights were an exception to this. Some were awarded for knighthood for service to the nobles, while some were selected as young boys from a lower social class like a peasant and trained for knighthood. Members of society respected the feudal system and were expected to show loyalty or obedience and support to those in a higher social class. People married, lived with, and socialized with others from their own level in the feudal system. People in the Middle Ages believed in the divine right, or the belief that the king was the greatest power, so princes and princesses were not to be punished. It was common for royal children to have a whipping boy. This was a young boy who grew up with the prince, often as his friend, and was often provided the same fancy clothing and education, but whose job was to receive the punishment in the prince's place. In the Middle Ages, children were whipped as a punishment. Since a prince could not be whipped when he misbehaved, the king would order for the whipping boy to be punished instead. This was thought to teach the prince a lesson by punishing someone he cared for. Now you are ready to think about what life might be like for our people in the Middle Ages. Pause this video to complete the response on your handout at stop sign number two. Then hit play when you are ready to continue. A whipping boy was a young boy who was punished instead of the prince during the Middle Ages. Some of the benefits of this role were getting a good education, living in the palace, and having fine clothing and other things. A drawback was that the whipping boys were whipped and punished for someone else's bad choices. You have learned how people were organized into social classes by the feudal system in the Middle Ages. Understanding the roles of different people, like the whipping boy, in the Middle Ages is important in understanding the characters and important ideas in the upcoming guidebook unit text, The Whipping Boy. When you have finished this video, be sure to turn in your completed handout to your teacher.